Hey, thanks. So there's a new Adam Sandler movie called Hustle that's going to hit Netflix next week, but it actually is going to play select theaters first, starting today. Hey, do you love this game? I love this game. I live this game. He goes semi-serious again for this one, playing a down-on-his-luck basketball scout who's convinced that he's discovered the next NBA phenom in Spain. Played by Juancho Hernan Gomez of the Utah Jazz. Co-starring Queen Latifah, Ben Foster, and Robert Duvall. It's in select theaters now, Netflix, in five days. Texas is a land of mystery and legend. Then also to select theaters comes Deep in the Heart, a documentary about Texas wildlife, narrated by who else? Matthew McConaughey. Every time I look over there, he's just staring right at me. And only in Waco theaters, the thriller Watcher, Micah Monroe, paranoid she's being stalked by a killer. From India, Preeth Viraj, about a warrior king who battles invaders. And a Texas-made thriller called Frank and Penelope, about a couple who run afoul of a small-town cult. With Kevin Dillon, Jonathan Sheck, and Sean Patrick Flannery, who also directs. And hey, Fathom Events, putting the Wizard of Oz back on screen Sunday and Monday. I'm going to be a priest. Then at home, Mark Wahlberg's father, Stu, about a boxer turned priest, moves from theaters to digital sale. Lisa! Lisa! A new for rent on demand is last seen alive. Gerard Butler scrambling after his wife goes missing at a gas station. Also, Aline, an unauthorized biopic of Celine Dion. Is he dead? Of course he's dead, Ryan. He just fell off the freaking roof. A couple Blumhouse horror movies. Unhuman, about a bus full of teens up against zombies. And the found footage dash cam, about a toxic live streamer who takes one scary ride. I'm tendering my resignation. I'm going to hunt you down. And also White Elephant, mob assassin Michael Rooker turning against his boss Bruce Willis. With John Malkovich and Olga Kurylenko, it's also now on AMC+. Plus. Why do you care? Because it reflects very badly on me if you die. And then AMC Plus also debuts This Is Gonna Hurt, a new British doctor show starring Ben Wishaw. Seven terrorists seized our vessel. Still talking streaming, Netflix premieres Interceptor, an action flick starring Elsa Pataki as an army captain taking on terrorists at a missile base. Netflix also has a new season of the game show Floor is Lava and the late Norm MacDonald's final comedy special shot in his house during COVID. I can't believe you talked me into this again. The Margaret Cho and SNL's Bowen Yang star in Fire Island, a gay rom-com set during an island vacation. That's new on Hulu. They also have a new season of Seth MacFarlane's sci-fi show, The Orville. And they have Pistol, the miniseries about the rise of the band, The Sex Pistols, from Train Spotting's Danny Boyle. Then Apple starts a new season of Physical with Rose Byrne as an 80s aerobics queen. Disney Plus has the Stargirl sequel Hollywood Stargirl, about a teen musician, Judy Greer and Uma Thurman in that. Dumbledore asked that I give you something. While HBO Max adds the latest Fantastic Beast movie straight from theaters, The Secrets of Dumbledore, also on premium VOD. While Michael Bay's new action flick, Ambulance, that just hit Peacock. What's this? Makes you a soup for 24 hours. Oh, and finally, Amazon premieres season three of their hit anti-superhero show, The Boys. That's a look at what's new from the director's chair.